Black Panther 2 is set to start filming in 2021 to continue the incredible legacy left by the history-making first movie. The tragic news broke in August that Chadwick Boseman had died at the age of 43, and his fans and the industry mourned Boseman's untimely death. Plans for the sequel were understandably put on hold. However, Marvel Studios is now starting to develop the sequel again, and deciding how it can proceed without Boseman who helped make the first movie such a record-breaker and a legacy-defining hit. Our first bit of information came in the form of the sequel's title, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, confirmed during Marvel's Phase for Teaser video. Here's everything else we know about Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Black Panther to cast, who's coming back for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. It has been confirmed that the sequel will honor the legacy of Chadwick Boseman, and won't recast the role off Chala. Thankfully as well, there are no plans to use a digital double in the sequel. There's only one Chadwick and he's not with us, said Marvel Studios EVP Victoria Alonso. Our king, unfortunately, has died in real life, not just in fiction, and we are taking a little time to see how we return to history and what we do to honor this chapter of what has happened to us that was so unexpected, so painful, so terrible, really. Kevin Feige added, so much of the comics in that first movie is the world of Wakanda. Wakanda is a place to further explore with characters and different subcultures. This was always and initially the primary focus of the next story. We're not going to have a CG Chadwick and we're not recasting Chala. Although the exact plot details for the sequel haven't yet been announced, it seems that our next visit to Wakanda will see us spend time with a range of characters while exploring the mythology of Wakanda more deeply. Lupita Nyong'o said, Ryan Coogler has some really, really exciting ideas that I look forward to bringing to life with the rest of the family. In the comics, Shuri has taken on the Black Panther mantle and fans have been calling for a similar approach in the sequel. But Letitia Wright has said the sequel is not something I even want to think about. She added, the thought of doing it without him is kinda strange. We're just grieving at the moment, so it's trying to find the light in the midst of it. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Letitia Wright, Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke and Angela Bassett are all expected to reprise their roles in the sequel as Shuri, Nakia Mabaku and Ramonda, respectively. Wright is reportedly set to take on a more prominent role in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, while Narcos, Mexico star Tena Cuerda is in talks to play one of the villains of the sequel. It's unclear if Denai Guerrera and Daniel Kaluuya will return as Okoye Andukabi respectively, but Martin Freeman will return as CIA agent Everett Ross. There's been no official comment from Marvel on any of the reported castings so far, but at the Disney Investor Day in December 2020, it was confirmed that the sequel would explore all of the rich and varied characters from the first movie. Michael B. Jordan's intense and troubled villain Eric Killmonger could also be in for a return, potentially in flashbacks, though Jordan has said it's unlikely. Behind the scenes, Ryan Coogler is returning to write and direct Black Panther, Wakanda Forever and he's bringing back the original creative cast. Black Panther to release date, when is Black Panther, Wakanda Forever released? Before the untimely passing of Boseman, the sequel was set for release on May 6, 2022. But there has, understandably, been a slight delay to July 8, 2022. According to The Hollywood Reporter, filming will now start on the sequel in Atlanta in July 2021 for upwards of six months. That was reported before the release date delay, so it's unclear if that's still the case. There are currently for Marvel movies planned for release in 2022 with Black Panther to join by Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Thor, Love and Thunder and Captain Marvel 2. Officially titled The Marvels, Black Panther to plot, what's Black Panther, Wakanda forever about? Kugler had previously said that he wanted to explore what Chala would be like growing into his role as a king, especially given how different the character is in the MCU from his comic book origin. He said, I'd be really interested to see, you know, what kind of king he is with experience, and how that affects his performance in the stories. Now that we know for sure that the role off Chala will not be recast, the focus of the sequel will have had to change and all we officially know is that it will continue to explore the world of Wakanda. Kevin Feige had hinted that he wanted to explore more of Wakandan history in the sequel, which could be a route to go down if they wanted to make it a prequel instead. Towards the end of the movie T'Challa takes the herb again and encounters his father, where he's like, hey man, we've kind of screwed up and I want to change it, he told Entertainment Weekly. There's that moment where all of the ancestors come behind Chakaka. We would joke and go, I want to see. What's their story? 
What's that story? Who was Bashanga, the first king of Wakanda? Who's that third to the left, Behind Chakaka? What was their story in Wakanda in 1938? That would be cool. It all starts as conversations like that. The more audiences want to see these stories, the more opportunities we have to explore different places and time. Black Panther to trailer, any Black Panther, Wakanda Forever footage. Even if the July 2020 to release date stays the same, don't expect any footage until late 2021 because the movie hasn't started production yet. Other than its new title design, there's nothing. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever is currently due to be released on July 8, 2022. Black Panther is available to watch on Disney+. Plus. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.